Good morning, Don Lane. Fraser Valley News, your morning news update for this Tuesday, June the 1st. And uh, we are still in shock, many of us, uh, with the news that was coming out of Kamloops about the residential school find there with 215 bodies and uh, various memorials that have gone up uh, around town. On the Fraser Valley News Facebook page, a uh, number of pictures of the uh, memorial of shoes and such on the steps of the Chilliwack Courthouse downtown, flags at half-mast and such. Some interesting comments have come out. Uh, Cameron Hull, uh, Chilliwack businessman, military historian, uh, went to Facebook and said, I hope, I hope, this is a watershed moment for Canadians to come together. There have been a couple of other um, other comments without tact saying, we came together over Humboldt, can we come together over this? I don't know if it's apples and oranges, but uh, this is going to be an interesting, uh, an interesting play on how this is going to work out because... Uh, many historians, many other people in the know are saying that this is the first of many discoveries. Uh, one other thing, too, is that uh, we, as you may, as you know, we have Chill TV. And on our News of the Week, uh, we tape on Thursdays uh, for broadcast later that evening on Thursday at 6.30. But around 3 o'clock, we do have openings. If you want to, if you're interested in talking about residential schools, if it ha uh, really hit you hard in your family, we'd like to hear from you. FVN at Shaw.ca. FVN at Shaw.ca. It would only be a couple of minutes. Uh, we know it's an emotional issue, but we would really, really like to hear from you. Let us know if you'd be interested. We can set something up either live uh, in studio with social distancing or with remote. We can do both. FVN at Shaw.ca if you're interested. Uh, the Port Moody woman, Trina Hunt, whose body was found near Hope, uh, and this uh, sad story started back in February. Now the family is offering fifty thousand dollars reward for information leading to the arrest uh, of the of whoever did this. And also, it's June the first, which means the minimum wage goes up in BC. It's now over fifteen dollars an hour, fifteen dollars and twenty cents an hour. If there's something again we should know about, uh, or again you would be interested in commenting uh, how residential schools affected you and your family, we want to hear from you. FEN at Shaw.ca. 31 degrees. We may or may not get a, t uh, a temperature record today, but it will be muggy. Don Lane, Fraser Valley News.